Meanwhile, tens of thousands of people are expected at Magic Island tonight for the annual Shinyo Lantern Floating Ceremony, which honors loved ones who all passed away. Eddie Dowd is live at Magic Island, where the in-person ceremony is making its return for the first time since the pandemic. Eddie. Well, Ashley, we are still a few hours away from when those lanterns will be placed in the water at 6.30 p.m., but people are still coming to Magic Island right now, coming to pick up their lanterns here at this tent. But important to remember, this is the first time organizers say it's returned for in-person since the COVID-19 pandemic is joining me here is Janice. Janice, you are a practitioner and an organizer for this event. Yes. What's happening behind me, even though we're hours away from the lanterns going in the water? Right now, people who are picking up their lanterns in this tent continue on to this one and they are assembling their lanterns so that they can float their lanterns on the water. And Janice, I saw people with pictures and quotes on their lanterns. I mean, they really, it's personal. It's very personal. It, it's such a touching moment that's shared collectively with everyone who is attending. And Janice, also important to note, first time four years, it's returning since COVID. Yes, it is. We're really excited about it. And as you can see, so are the people who are attending. All right, thank you so much, Janice, for you and all the other work that organizers have done to make this happen. There are no more lanterns available if you haven't registered, um, but there is a memorial tent where you can come and pay your respects to your loved ones. This event starts at 6.30. Uh, no parking, really, so you have to find a way to get down here if you want to observe. The ceremonies will have continuing coverage throughout the evening. Reporting live at Magic Island, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now. Eddie